there everybody, this is 20 to Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD video game update and this is the first update of 2018 which is very exciting. I hope everyone has had a very good 2018 so far and of course this is where I showcase the movies or video games that I bought or got as a gift or whatever you may call it. I got a couple of movies here as well as a video game so let's go ahead and just get started with this. So the first movie that I actually got with my $25 gift card for Target that I did get for Christmas, I used that gift card on Dunkirk. Of course, Dunkirk is the Christopher Nolan film, and I am a huge fan of Christopher Nolan. He is one of my favorite directors of all time. And Dunkirk is a film that I truly did really like, and I know I still have to do a video review on. Trust me, uh, I am gonna do a video review on this film, but I'll, I'll tell you it's for my first time viewing this film, and I don't know if my opinion will maybe change on my second viewing or anything like that, but I'll tell you as far as first viewing goes, I I really like Dunkirk. It was just so well made. It's definitely one of the most unique uh, war films I've ever seen. I could definitely say that. And I actually did see this film in IMAX. I normally don't pay to see movies in IMAX. If I do see a movie in IMAX, that's because it's an advanced screening. But as far as paying to see a movie in IMAX, that's very, very rare. But my family and I went to go see Dunkirk in IMAX and it was absolutely worth it because man did it make for some of the uh, best IMAX experiences I've ever had. The cinematography is gorgeous. Christopher Nolan, no surprise, does a splendid job directing this film. Uh, he really does make you feel like you're there. And he does a very great job of making this more of a survival story rather than a war film. Like, it is a war film, but it's more like a survival story that takes place during the war. And I thought that was very cool. The sound editing, the sound mixing is incredible here, too. Like, I would honestly say it has some of the best sound editing and mixing of 2000. 2017. The performances were very strong and the characters, while they're not the strongest characters, um, I could say that I cared about them enough. And Harry Styles, considering this is his first movie, you know, considering this is the guy from One Direction, and I know he's solo now, and I have to say, so far as a solo artist, he's very impressive. I just want to compliment him very quick. From the solo songs I've been listening to so far, he really impressed me. And then he really impressed me with his debut performance at Dunkirk. So 2017 was definitely one hell of a year for Harry Styles. Dunkirk, just on a technical level, is beautiful. Direction-wise, it's really great. Not to mention that the practicality that went into the war sequences were just so so impressive everything felt so real and i think that really added to the experience so very happy to have dunkirk on blu-ray and dvd and now this is not a blu-ray but it is a dvd the next movie i'm going to showcase is there's magic and wonders and mysteries in store a hero whose mission is to learn and explore He's daring and caring and oh so much more It's Brixby Bear This is the DVD because unfortunately um, there's no Blu-ray DVD combo pack so I just stuck with the DVD and I ordered this off of Amazon. This movie is wonderful. I did a 16 minute movie review of this for goodness sakes. Brigsby Bear is the longest movie review I've ever done for an indie film so far. Like, there was so much I had to say. For a film that I really had to be careful not spoiling, I managed to go spoiler free for 16 minutes. Some people were actually impressed that I was able to talk about a film spoiler free for that long, but I managed to do it. And the views too. Um, the views I got for that movie review too, I'm actually very impressed by considering how small the movie is. I did not expect to get the views that I got. So thank you to everyone that did support that movie review. In case you guys haven't seen my movie review for this film, I love this film. It is one of the best movies of 2017. I really, really adore this film. This is such a creative, such an 
original, such a weird film. It's not as weird as Swiss Army Man. Um, it's not at that level. I probably wouldn't say it's even close to that. But it is a pretty weird film regardless. This movie really explored imagination very well. I am a sucker for movies that are all about uh, just imagination, being yourself, and never, uh, and going with your gut and following your passion. Like, all those things I love to see in movies as all in Briggs Be Bear. And not to mention that the film goes in certain directions uh, that you don't really expect. Kyle Mooney is amazing in this film and I hope he'll get even more recognition in a bigger film one day. The score here too. I can't forget about the score. The score is one of the best scores of last year. Like, I listened to the score for this film on Spotify. Hell, I, I've been listening to the soundtrack, the slash the score for this film whenever I would play, you know, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. I literally have been listening to it and it's quite relaxing, surprisingly. It really is. The cinematography is beautiful. Dave McCary did a very good job um, directing this film. And not only is Kyle Moody fantastic here, but Greg Kinnear is fantastic here. Mark Hamill is fantastic here. And the rest of the performances that play these supporting characters that I really don't want to spoil, they are fantastic here. And not to mention that the ending is just such a touching ending. Briggs Be Bear delivers on the heart, it delivers on the humor, it delivers on pretty much everything you want in a movie and I'm definitely happy to now own Briggs Be Bear! Now to conclude this update, it is a video game. This is a video game I have had since Christmas. My mom surprised me with this video game on Christmas Day. Thank you so much to my mom for this because I have been wanting to get this game and I actually completed this game considering I had it for a month now and that is Sonic Forces. I mean as I'm filming this it's January 31st so I've had this game for a month and I have actually completed it. I think this is the first time where I've done an update where I've actually completed the game so I could actually tell you my full thoughts on Sonic Forces. I had a lot of fun with this game. Some of the stuff that they came up with there during these levels, these obstacles were really impressive. There were actually moments where I went, oh, 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 holy shit, because I was amazed. Like there were certain things that happened as I was playing this game that just blew me away because of how much they really amped it up. The graphics in this game are truly fantastic. Everything is so clear. Everything is so colorful. Sonic is great. They bring back the little Sonic from Sonic Generations, which was really cool. You know, and obviously all the other characters. Tails obviously looks great. Eggman looks great. The whole world looks great. Uh, the music is wonderful too. And I was just very, very impressed with the game. Gameplay. They did so much with the gameplay that really amazed me. I didn't watch a single gameplay video uh, before I got this game for Christmas. Uh, I just knew about the game. I knew that I wanted it, but I didn't look up a single thing. And I think it helped considering experiencing these levels for the first time. Just brought so much joy to me. There are a total of 30 stages in this film and it is 30 stages of pure fun and entertainment. I love playing these Sonic the Hedgehog games. Unfortunately, I haven't played every single one of them, but I have played at least most of them. And me being a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, I am so happy with this game. And I honestly would love to play it again. Like it's one of those games that I just want to play again after I complete it. So thank you everyone as always for watching my Blu-ray video game DVD updates. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Dunkirk, Brigsby Bear, and Sonic Forces. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!